And in a primetime news follow-up, the opposition People's National Party has described as, quote, misconceived, end quote, a request from the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, for its president, Mark Golding, to apologize for distasteful comments made by Isaac Buchanan. The party also described the request from the PSOJ as hypocritical. More from Andrew Chisholm. On Monday, Isat Buchanan resigned as chairman of the PNP's Human Rights Commission after making horrible comments about the director of public prosecutions, DPP. On Tuesday, Mr. Buchanan apologized for the statements. But PSOJ President Metrisiaga also wants PNP President Mark Golding to go one step further. And I really hope that Mr. Golding finds it in himself to apologize to all women and all well-thinking Jamaicans for the comments that Mr. Buchanan made. You can't divorce yourself from it. In a statement on Wednesday, the PNP says while it appreciates and shares the PSOJ's concern about maintaining respect and civility within the society, the party disagrees with the call for a personal apology from Mr. Golding. The PNP reiterated Mr. Golding spoke to Mr. Buchanan the same night the comments were made, leading to his prompt resignation. The PNP's women movement also condemned Mr. Buchanan's statements, reaffirming the party's unwavering commitment to respect for women. And so the PNP says the PSOJ's request for an apology from Mr. Golding is misconceived and hypocritical. It also accused the PSOJ of bias. The PNP says the PSOJ has never asked Prime Minister Andrew Holness to apologize for offensive comments made by JLP members and parliamentarians, including Everald Warmington. Plus, the Prime Minister also did not apologize for the behavior of MP George Wright, who was caught on video using a stool to beat a woman. The opposition pointed out that the PSOJ should remain impartial and consistent in holding all leaders and organizations accountable for their actions and statements. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.